So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what makes a good product page, as well as showing a product page that I've created and breaking down the different components of it. So the four main components of the product page are going to be content, colors, pictures, and reviews. So for content, when you're making your product page, you have to keep in mind that people buy with emotion and justify their purchase with logic. So the job of your video ad is to create this emotion and the job of your product page is to provide the necessary information to complete their purchase through logical reasoning. An example of this is with the posture corrector. The emotion would come from seeing someone super slouched and then stand up straight once they put on the brace. This stirs emotion because when you're standing up straighter, you feel and you look more confident. So once you've gotten them to click onto your website by stirring up emotion, now the job of your product page is to prove to the customer that the posture corrector is in fact the solution to their problems. So saying something like the posture corrector activates important back muscles to help you stand up straighter helps a customer justify their want to purchase the product. So when making a product page, make sure it's very informative, but at the same time clear and concise because no one wants to reflux. So for the example product page that I wanted to show you guys today is for a car seat pillow. So before I write anything about this product, I always make sure to do an ample amount of research on the product that I'm selling. This way I can get into the customer's mind and use language that will resonate with them in my ad copy. The way that I do this is by reading Amazon reviews, Reddit, blogs, and articles. This way you can see exactly why the customers bought the product from Amazon and use it for your marketing to help sell it. Now that you have a good idea of why people want your product, let's talk about the structure of your product page. The first thing I like to put on my product page is a headline. This is an attention grabbing headline that will lure your customers to read the next sentence. And the job of that next sentence is to lure them into read the next one and so on. Usually I like to put my biggest benefit in the headline. For example, for this car seat pillow, the best benefit was that you sleep comfortably in your car. After the headline, I add three bullet points to highlight the offer. In this case, it's a 50% off original price, 100% money back guarantee, and free shipping on all, all orders. So after that, I highlight the pain point of the customer and carry on to writing a small paragraph talking about more key benefits of the product. So pain point, tired of agonizing neck pain due to horrible sleeping positions? Benefits, experience the most optimal and comfortable way to sleep in your snooze cruise, save your energy for the fun stuff and enjoy deep slumber and excellent neck support on your next road trip. After that, I have a satisfaction banner. This helps increase trust, but I see a lot of people using really savvy ones that don't look really good. So if, if you're gonna use one of those, you might as well not use one at all. So after that, I have my tabs. So to make these tabs, I use an app called Tabs by Station. It's very customizable and there's a free plan available. And even if you wanna to upgrade to the premium plan, it's only like a dollar. So I use tabs because it helps condense a lot of information in a short amount of space like you can see here. This way, instead of having the customer scroll forever, they can pick and choose which information they want and get informed about your product. So for the tabs, I have features, specifications, shipping info, our guarantee and FAQ. So for the features, Again, I'm highlighting the benefits of the product. Memory foam cushion, to guarantee an unbelievably comfortable sleeping experience for you every single time. Benefit, the Snooze Cruise cushions are made from soft and plushy memory foam. Feature, easy to clean covers, drool while you're sleeping, pain point, your cleaning is made effortless. Benefit, with removable leather covers. Feature, simple wipe and it's ready to use. Whether it's your kids, your friends, or your parents, one size fits all. Benefit, the snooze cruise is adjustable with a 180 degree range of motion. Feature, simply adjust the cushion by moving it up or down to the appropriate level and enjoy. Enjoy the easiest installation process of your life. Benefit, with the simple snap-on system. Feature, so you can kind of see a pattern. You always start with the benefit and explain why it's a benefit or explain why that benefit exists with one of the features of your product. So I also have specifications and, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You can get that actually right off AliExpress and then shipping info. So I like to include shipping times right on the product page because instead of a customer going on the shipping policy or another page to get this information, they can stay right on the product page where they have the highest chance to convert. Our guarantee, I like to have a guarantee 
because it builds trust and decreases the hesitancy of the customer when purchasing. So my guarantee says, um, the snooze cruise is not only a stylish addition to your car, but an essential for snoozing on long road trips. If you don't believe the snooze cruise has improved your road trip or car rides in any way, you can keep the snooze cruise for free. The last tab that I have is an FAQ where I go over any sort of resistance a customer may have before purchasing your product. A great way to come up with these questions is reading the comments under your competitor's video ads and seeing what type of questions other people are asking or simply going to Amazon and looking for the questions there. So the next part of the product page that I want to go over is colors. And what I'm about to say is can be applied to your entire website and not just your product page. So with my product page and my website, I personally like to stick with black, white, and one accent color. This way you don't have to go full designer mode and find the best combinations of colors for your site. Your site will look just fine with black, white, and one accent color. And you know, even for this site that I made, um, I went even more simple and just use black and white. For pictures, always have high quality pictures on your product page. The best types of pictures to have on your product page are people actually using your product, so lifestyle kind of photos. This helps create an emotional connection with your product. Maybe they can relate to the person in the photo, maybe they want to be the person in the photo. Either way, having someone actually using your product will go a long way. The last portion of the product page is reviews. This helps build credibility and social proof around your brand. For your reviews, try to have at least 10 of them and make sure they're high quality ones. And by high quality, I mean not the classic AliExpress reviews that says shipping good, receive quick, but more of a long-winded review that highlights the benefits of your product. And if you can get picture reviews, that's even better. So that wraps up today's video on product pages. If there's anything that I missed that you want me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments or hit me up on social media. Also, if you made it this far, type in the comments a fire emoji and I'll choose one person at random that gets a free 15 minute consultation call. Not a lot of people make it this far, so you have a really good chance to get that free call. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.